lived, a little golden book by Jane Warner Watson, illustrated by Ronald LaHue. Jesus was born in Bethlehem, a town in the rocky hills of Judea. While he was still a baby, his parents took Jesus to the land of Egypt, where he would be safe from the wicked king of Judea. It was a long journey, first down to the seashore, then along the shore, until they came to Egypt. There they lived in a small house of mud and reeds, close beside the mighty river Nile. After some time, a message came to Joseph, telling him that the wicked king was dead, and that Jesus would now be safe back in his homeland. So Joseph, with Mary and the baby, went to the village of Nazareth, some distance from Bethlehem. There they lived in a small stone house. Jesus worked as a carpenter, and young Jesus helped him. When Jesus was 12 years old, he went with his parents to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. They traveled with many relatives and friends. Jesus was thrilled by the sight of Jerusalem, towering behind its walls of sun-bright stone. His heart rejoiced when he entered the temple, the house of the Lord God. He knew even then that his life's purpose would be to work for his Father in heaven, telling the people about him. When Jesus was a young man, a prophet called John the Baptist was traveling through the country. He asked people to stop doing wrong and to be baptized in the River Jordan to show that they were starting a new and better life. Jesus joined the others at the River Jordan and was baptized. And as he prayed, God sent down from heaven a dove, a sign that he was well pleased. Then Jesus went off by himself, deep into the rocky wilderness. He stayed in that bleak and sun-baked land for many days, thinking about the good and evil in the world. He prayed that God might show him the way he was to use his life. When Jesus returned from the wilderness, he began to teach the people. He traveled from town to town, preaching the good news of the kingdom of God and healing people who were sick. Beside the Lake of Galilee, he met fishermen tending their nets on the shore. Those fishermen became some of his first followers. Sometimes when crowds pressed around him, Jesus went out on the lake in a boat and talked to the people from there. In the city of Jerusalem, Jesus taught beside a pool where sick people gathered. There he healed a man who could not walk. In the country, Jesus climbed the rocky hillsides to talk to the shepherds watching their flocks. Sometimes he sat upon a rock and hundreds of people gathered around to hear what he had to say. Jesus walked through the fields where grain grew tall and golden. He rubbed heads of grain between his hands and gave kernels to his friends to eat. He walked through vineyards where grapes hung in heavy bunches, and he taught the people by telling them stories about the countryside. He told them about workers gathering grapes in the vineyards, as Jesus gathered people to God, about shepherds searching for lost sheep, as God searched for sinful people hoping to change their ways, about farmers sowing greeds of seeds of grain, as Jesus put good thoughts into the hearts of men. Jesus told people to follow the wishes of God rather than worry about becoming wealthy. He pointed to the flowers of the field, which do not worry about wealth or work for it. Yet God has clothed them in greater beauty than wealth could ever buy. In all his life, after that journey to Egypt as a baby, Jesus traveled scarcely a hundred miles away from his home. But after his death, his followers took his teachings all around the world, and the stories he told are known and loved and retold to this very day in every land on earth. The end. Here at Summit Church, we love children. We hope you will bring your children to hear more stories about Jesus and to learn about God. And we would love for you to become a part of our church family. Enjoy the stories.